everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Big and breaking news here. Michi apparently never signed her contract with Nidhi Sanji from what it looks like. She said in another stream too that they just never gave her a contract or at the very least not one for her. That is, why would, like, why that is weird. That is, that is kind of freaking strange. It's the, it's like the Nidhi Sandy doesn't know how to manage her talents correctly or do anything correctly. Kind of weird, isn't it? Land of anime. Huh? I can't wait to meet my is wife. That is Michi Mochivi? Oh man, I don't know what to say to her. She's new around here, and I. Uh... <laughs> oh God. <laughs> voice, you actually sound like like you know, the... he was a skater boy. I love her. <laughs> you sound good. You actually sound emo. What? Am I crazy? Emo? Yeah, with that voice you sound emo. Oh emo? god. Say your like say your quote. The darkness doesn't scare me. My only fear is losing myself. Ooh. Chaos. I call it fun. Oh, oh god. <laughs> How interesting. Serious. Like guys, I'm not on contract anymore. I've been oh, like, it's been like, how long have I been streaming here? Like ten months now. I'm good, bro. I just, I don't need to be subtle, but I still do for the respect of others. Okay. I've never been on one. <laughs> oh god. Wait, you, you've I'm never, you've never been on one. <laughs> I said this on my stream. Even yeah. I talked about it. Basically, there's yeah, something fucked up there, and I never really got into signing it. So. Wasn't it like some? I, I remember it was like it was like they a, messed up my address. Error. I think. Yeah, like an address yeah. error. Oh and god! Up, <laughs> she could have left address. whenever she wanted to. Then. <laughs> They're like, okay. And then... <laughs> I was sitting there. I was like waiting. Until today, I'm still waiting. Unironically, I'm still very cordial, you know. If they ever send one to me right now, I'll still sign it. Like I'm still, I'm still gonna be cordial, you know. As much of course, as you of course. want to like get angry at a chat, you know, you don't have to like someone to respect them. So True. I will still respect it, nevertheless. Guys, I respect you. What? What do you mean? You don't like me? You said you didn't like me, but you still respect me. What did no, I said I respect you. Does that mean you don't like me? By process of elimination, I suppose. No, God. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Finally. Yeah, that is interesting to see. That is crazy. It's crazy news. She never actually signed it because they messed up. That is not something crazy. That is not something out of the ordinary. We heard that from artists. When the whole Selene thing happened, a lot of times the the, um, the non-disclosure agreements, the NDAs and things like that were not signed correctly, were not sent correctly, and a lot of times nothing was ever signed. So, gotta love the incompetence of Nidhi Sanji. Here we have uh, Kunai having some birthday merch. At least they're doing enough to give birthday merch to Kunai. But again, reminding you, 2% is all that goes for merch like this to the liver. So they're not going to get anything. They're going to get pennies on the dollar pretty much of what Nidhi Sanji gets. And that's of pure, of course, that's a pure profit that Nidhi Sanji will get. Only 2% of that profit is going to be going to Kunai. There's even a short animated video of her on official EN account, so I guess they care for the livers. But honestly, do you guys think that they will stream on her birthday? Uh, she probably will stream. Um, Kunai Nagas Nakasato, birthday goods and voice. Celebrate Kugai Kunai Nakasato's birthday and birthday goods and voice on the Nidhi Sanji EN. I think the voice, they give them a little bit more on voice type of merch. But on, on actual, like, you know, posters and stuff, they only give them 2%. So down here it says, um, good question. Didn't she also tell her member community that they could unmember her uh, if she wasn't streaming, since she wasn't going to be streaming for a bit in a community post? If I remember correctly, that post in the subreddit mentioning it, she did say that. She said, uh, save your memberships for when there's actual stuff of, you know, things being posted. Uh, I kind of posted that one. Something weird about the post is that she said something about a watch along being canceled. However, there wasn't any post before mentioning the watch along. So maybe it was a, a skinwalk. It could have been skinwalking. It's just uh, kind of vagueness. Roy Yuzuki hasn't streamed in over three years, but they still gave her birthday merch. Another good model wasted on any color. And I doubt it seeing they are necroing livers left, that are left years ago. Makes me wonder if Kunai already left, but Niji won't announce her graduation anymore to not hit the morale, the investor's morale, of course. Also, uh, here's the short, if interested. You know, the short that they're mentioning here. Here's the Kunai Nakasato short. So many goals. So the first one is I like to stay up past a certain time. And uh, I want to do, you know, ASMR roleplay. You know, that's that's the thing that people are doing now. And, you know, uh, ASMR roleplay, I am a gorilla at the zoo, violently breaking my enclosure to get to whatever you're eating. 
I think that would I think that would trend. I think that would do good. See, they they have the livers have good ideas. They're creative. She's creative. Kunai's creative. But Niji Sanji is just a horrible place to be because they won't let that creativeness go out because they want the status quo and that's all they want. Here is a small look and try attempt to try to see into certain people's uh, mental reasons, I guess. Uh, Niji's sisters all act the same way as if they were showing each other a great mystery to which uh, neither Jesus, Allah, or Buddha know the answer. Uh, they do not speak each other's language, yet they behave in the same ugly manner in each region. It's basically they're all a part of the same cult. They're all a part of the same group. Uh, haters have the same mentality. When I saw their tactics, it seemed like a mix of cult and communist misinformation, gaslighting, and conditioning. Then someone informed me that K-pop stands did the same S. Add in the, the Twitter whataboutism, and it's there you go. You got everything. Uh, birds of a feather flock together. You are the same company you keep. Great minds think alike, all that kind of stuff. Kindred spirits. Maybe just a fancy club or party satisfying the same kinks. It's, I feel it's more in the sense of they're kind of this part of the same cult. They identify as the company uh, being their um, their identity. They uh, have the company as being something that they need to protect. They need to defend. Kind of like, as I mentioned, kind of like the way you protect or defend a cult. Uh, not good. Never good. But uh, people will do what they will do. Some positive news this time on Scarla then. Scarlet is one of the few people who has nothing negative going on against her. In fact, she kind of got into what people are thinking a stealth bit of trouble when she uh, hearted something that said Kuro Sanji at one point. She didn't uh, re repost or retweet the black screen stream. She's been doing a lot of things that have been keeping herself out of drama and keeping herself in the good graces of a lot of people in uh, the uh, critiquing community of Niti Sanji. It's time like these where I'm happy Scarlet is one of the only livers I'll still follow on Twitter. I would let Rhea Ripley break me like a twig. Oh god, she's down bad for Rhea Ripley apparently. Uh, base Scarlet for real for real. Needy Sani's Plague Inc. that Scarlet's Madagascar. She does her own thing as the world burns around her and we love her for it. Yeah, as I said, she deserves better. She absolutely does. Her and a lot of other people deserve better. She didn't deserve to be harassed by Needy Sisters, especially when she was having cake from Starbucks. Of all things, that's what got her in trouble. Holy crap. Everyone loves mommy. Scarlet has good taste, and I don't think you can stop Rhea from breaking you in half. Anyways, if she wants to break you, she will. Unrelated, but I hope she never turned Rhea's face. She works better as a heel. Um, honestly, Scarlet, Rosemary, Victoria, and Dopio are one of the few talents that I can support. Shame Kunai kept being forgotten. Yeah, Kunai's also doing great. I mean, they're also not in any kind of big, any kind of anything, actually, when it comes to uh, drama. None in there, except for the fact that they're not being treated well. Taking a look at the what the NDF can also do. This is just a bit of an example for this person. This channel was destroyed by the NDF, specifically by the Roa fan base, or at least people who will said that they were Roa fans. Uh, video is currently available for viewing, so we're able to follow the trail, but we have attached some of the images that we we're able to save. Uh, she was working as an ASMRist, and um, was attacked and assumed to be Meido, which was, you know, Meido and Ro Roa had a big falling out. In fact, there was even lawsuits of her stealing the, uh, the, the exact usage of, you know, certain terms and the way that she was speaking and all that kind of stuff. Uh, people were, you know, wanting to them to be, you know, game ended and that kind of thing. Over here, we have, um, basically them mentioning it's like, oh, uh, this is, you know, that's the Japanese version. This is the English version of happy birthday. Oh, I made a mistake. March 31st was Mado's birthday. So they're dogging her for supposedly being Mado in this case. And, um, we have down here, isn't that Mr. Goldfish Lamp, the V killer? He's still posting videos. I guess you can't speak standard Japanese. Feels like uh, Meiji Lamp World is alive and well. I'm so happy. So yeah, some people are saying good things. Some people are saying negative things. Over here, this one in particular talks about um, that uh, it's unusual for ASMR to only bring out anger. I love Rambu and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the one at the bottom, those who are still defending this person should do through a investigation to make a thorough investigation. If they knew what this person did, I don't think they would be defending them. So they're assuming that this person is Mado. This person at the bottom here is assuming that they're Mado and that they shouldn't be defended because of, you know, the things that they've supposedly done against Roa. Uh, when you get too parasocial, when you get too crazy with things, those things do pop up. And that is the situation that happened here. Um, it is like we, if we look at the actual thing here, they removed everything. They had 132k subs, snow sound, but they removed everything or privated it or did something to remove the way that you know things are and that sucks because that's a lot of creation um that they had and people were probably happy that they were starting to do stuff again 
and then they got hit with this. Here we have the Wild Usan going to AX. And as a bit of a help, Doki Special Karaoke Guest is unnamed. It's going to be Special Karaoke with Doki Bird. Stop by our booth, show us your following height, eye by power, and unnamed to receive a limited checky from unnamed. So they're going to be giving prizes. Letter must not exceed the size of A4 paper, a gift receipt, letter and gifts to Usan, oh, for Usan. So they, they, they're an intermediary to give gifts to Usan as well. Gift box must not exceed a postal box size of that size. Gift must be lightweight and not fragile. The package must be opened and able to be checked for security at the drop-off location. Gifts must be portable and easy to transport. iBuyPower is going to be sending any gifts that you have and that you go to Anime Expo to unnamed. And of course, they want to be able to check it for security purposes. No homemade snacks. No homemade anything perishable. Uh, if you do chips and things like that, that's fine as long as the package is closed. Uh, things like, you know, um, if you've made uh, any kind of merch about him or them, merch about them, then go ahead and, and send it to them. Any artwork, any of that kind of stuff has to be A4 size paper. Please read the graphic above for more information. It's going to be amazing. So Usan's going to be at AX with karaoke guest Doki Bird. They're going to have fun, more karaoke. It's going to be amazing. Please, please support because they deserve this, of course. And people are responding by saying, Dan, they just never stop, do they? I'm all for this. Bro, it's going to be magic. So across the Niji booth, there's going to be face of the Doki unnamed Kuro, Michi, and Matara. Everyone who left, they're just pretty much, they're taunting Niji Sanji at this point. Holy crap. They're taunting Niji Sanji at this point. Question now is whether there'll be a sudden off collab looming in the horizon, uh, gift receipts, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, basically good stuff for them. I fully support this. Kaisa Akarine, Red Song 01 is going on an indefinite hiatus on July 24th. Um, the announcement tweet is there. Of course, it's going to be, who is Red Song? It is this VTuber V singer here. They have a very cute uh, look to them. Very, very um, conservative look. Not, you know, huge booba or anything like that. She is mentioning here, of course, in the announcement. This is her Twitch channel. Uh, she's been playing different games. You know, they have, they've been playing, it looks like um, you have uh, just chatting. You have, uh, they're playing Apex Legends, you know, just playing other Apex Legends type of thing. So they're doing that. This is what they're saying here, though. It is with a heavy heart that I announce my good, uh, the, your God Slayer, Kai Sakarine Red Song, will be on indefinite hiatus from streaming and related VTuber activities on July 24th, 2024. Last enemy reports haven't looked too great, and our recent reconnaissance confirmed our findings. With this, I am once again called out into the field. So she's making it a lore-wise. Lore-wise, she's making it a lore-accurate one, which is awesome. This is time for a much longer period. There's a ton of things I'd like to say, but please let me start with this. Don't you, uh, thank you for our time together. Don't worry too much about me. Always, always take care of yourself. Last three years have been a joyride of equal parts thrill and fulfillment, each day filled with tremendous amounts of light, happiness, and warmth. And immensely thankful for the loving and welcoming community we've cultivated, the accomplishments we pushed towards and we achieved, the incredible friends we've had, I've had the honor of hanging out with and streaming with, and lastly, the cherished, beautiful memories we spun when woven together from it all. You have all deeply inspired me and touched my heart, and you will continue to do so now and always. Regarding the subathon, all plans regarding the 2.0 model, lore, original song have been postponed. As you can imagine, it would be hard to progress on works that I won't be using or sharing. Uh, it would, wouldn't be fair to the model parents, the mom and the papa, if I leave out after the debut, the person who created the character and the person who's doing the rigging. With this in mind, I hope you all accept my deepest and serious apologies. That being said, they are still prioritizing efforts to fulfill the other subathon redeems and milestones. The Kaisa merch, the, uh, the, the cover song, all that kind of stuff is going to be done. It's going to be done uh, after the final stream, which is on the 23rd. Prior to that, I'll be streaming as much as I can. We'll knock out Subathon stuff, host community games, celebrate my birthday on the 20th. Let's hang out and have a good time before the, the arduous journey ahead. So yes, she's doing that. She's ending it. People are saying, you know, uh, I love you so much, Kaisa. Uh, thank you so much for these last few years. Wishing you the best. I will cry. I miss you dearly. Thank you for all the Apex memories. Godspeed, Kaisa. Everyone wishing them well, which they deserve. They absolutely deserve. And of course, enjoy them at their at their Twitch channel because they seem to be a Twitch person instead of a YouTube person. Enjoy, enjoy them at their Twitch channel. Enjoy them at uh, at their best. And, you know, give them a follow, etc. if you please. Mia Konin from Nanashik Chinku 744 will be graduating at the end of August. Uh, this is Mia Konin. Konan Mia. This is her. She looks like either a panther or a, a cat style VTuber. Uh, she was part of Animare, which was a group with animal-based VTubers, but it got going into 774 Inc. I, I apologize. It was 774 instead of 744. So 774 Inc. 
Uh, here she is. Here's her YouTube channel. She was at 34.3K subscribers, had 351 videos and over 3 million views. So she had a lot of things going for her. She had a lot of fun things going there. It's just, you know, she had her moment where she wanted to graduate. Not a lot has been said other than this, which is uh, anima the uh, 774 Inc. put out their press release. It says, thank you very much for your continued support of Nana Shinku. We would like to inform you that our talent, Mia Konan, will graduate from Nana Shinku at the end of August. 2024. After receiving the requested the request to graduate, we have had many discussions, but respecting their wishes, we have mutually agreed to end their YouTuber activities. Various accounts related to Conan Mia, such as YouTube and X, formerly Twitter, will be gradually suspended slash closed as the end of September 2024. Until graduation, we will continue to work as usual, so see, we, would, we would appreciate your continued support. Once again, we would like to express our sincere gratitude to all the fans who have supported and continue to support Conan Mia. Regarding this matter, please refrain from making any inquiries to our affiliated talent. We appreciate your continued support and patronage of our talent. And of course, everyone here is like, oh my God, what's happening? You know, another graduation. Dang, the summer has been a summer of graduations. This year has been a year of graduations. So it hits a lot of people in a lot of ways, of course. It's not fun to see these graduations. Also said by September, her YouTube and SNS accounts will be privated. Uh, well, I'll never get to meet her. I wish the best for her next adventure. She was a fun one. I did watch her a bit during my earlier years in VTubing, just watching the 774 Inc. people, Animare people in general. It was a lot of fun things to watch and to see. So I I wish the best for them. Honestly, I do. So when, if you remember, Kadokawa Entertainment, if you remember, uh, the ones who run Nico Nico, uh, Nico Nico Live and that type of thing, they decided to stop doing the Nico Nico Live stuff because... Uh, they had um, run into an issue where there was a big, uh, it looked like it, they didn't really say exactly what it was, but it was a ransomware attack that they got hit with and that knocked them down. Uh, Russian hacker claims ransomware attack on them. Katakawa refused to pay ransom. Hacker published a part of the confidential documents on July 1st. Nico Nico a subsidiary of Katakawa. So these documents included uh, data of Nico Nico possible indie VTubers and past life of some VTubers. So this is their information here that they put out there, um, that they have, you know, basically all this information here that they have mentioned. It says Nico Nico was down and watchable. F them Russian hacker groups guess they should be investigated to invest in more in cybersecurity. But honestly, nothing more could be done about this because paying the ransom would have been a bad idea. The basic text translations are this here. It says personal information may be public on July 1st. Organization calling itself Black Suit has made the statement, crime public, its deal is not concluded, data will be made public on July 1st. Uh, statement of crime, we have downloaded 1.5 terabytes of data. That's a lot of data. It would be wise of Kadokawa to pay uh, the money and just move forward. Otherwise, we will make it all data public on July 1st. Incident began on 8th of, 8th of last month at around 3.30 a.m. Cause of this failure was a large-scale cyber attack, and that's what they're mentioning here. Um, so basically, that's what it was. The Kadokawa did not pay. For anything they did not pay the ransom for everything that they're gonna that they were uh, uh trying to get them for uh continuing here it says um the following listed 1.5 terabytes of data that was downloaded contracts signed documents various legal documents platform end user data employee related data business plans project related data financial things uh documents that's a lot of bad stuff uh does not go through all information will be made public why is it double blackmail according to nobido of SP Technology also serves as a cybersecurity advisor. They are doing, uh, they also got the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department there. Uh, encrypt and lock the system, demand ransom in exchange for doing it, threaten to leak data obtained. How did they access server in the first place? It has not been revealed at this time, but according to Bloomberg, in an example of a cyber attack for Black Suit on an American software development company, uh, hackers posing as the employees. So it was a what's called a uh, social engineered attack. They pose as employees and uh, uh, they access the company's internal systems using customer routes uh, how to prevent intrusion. They're trying to try to prevent intrusion. This is really, really bad on their end. This should not have happened, but they're not going to be paying ransom, of course. Poor Pippa. She gets no respect from the Sakana, the fish man. The coffee company is not respecting her properly. Of course, this is a joke, but uh, hopefully Pippa gets more than 2%. Do you think at Face Connect will cover this as a business expense? No. Beep. Basically. <laughs> Uh, yeah, cover the, the whole, I guess, Twitter as a business expense. For people who are la lacking context, Pippa now has a gold check mark on her profile, which be can be quite expensive. 
So they, they're trying to, she's trying to get that as a business expense. The gold check mark. Generally, the face connect official account is the one that should have the gold check mark. And then any VTuber staff or sub account should have just have a really affiliate check mark. Uh, since Pippa's Twitter account has gold check mark of her own and not an affiliate one, she is jokingly asking if FaZe will cover the cost as business expense, to which they say no. Pippa's still listed as an employee of FaZe on Twitter profile, but the main check mark is still shown as gold one, as they have a higher priority. As same, Pippa is apparently hiring stream watchers. Same cost as her membership. Interesting. What exactly does the gold check mark do other than you know raise costs? Uh, essentially, gold check mark is a way of verifying that the account is an official account of the business it says it represents. Yeah, it's just basically kind of that kind of stuff. If you see Face Connect, Twitter accounts that claim they are official but no one has a gold check mark, you can pretty much disregard them as being fake. So blue check mark when it was wasn't for sale, pretty much. Yeah, what the gold check mark is. When it's not for when it wasn't for sale, the blue check mark was to um, verify that you are who you say you are, that type of thing. 12k a year to troll perfect marketing sounds like a fa like phase kapipi crypto bros should be shouldering the cost uh lmao so yeah pretty much that's what the whole thing is about and uh here we have you know uh twitter gold check mark companies and businesses can pay a thousand dollars a month and sponsorship increase stream watchers they're hiring for all those type of jobs which is interesting it's just hilarious to see that love pippa and love her her um her meme potential a meme with a straight 07 os to uh, all those we lost. Uh, we lost in uh, India, Korea uh, ID as well. India was a cultural thing from I remember. KR and ID were just abandoned. Ayan is is kind of barely treading water. JP is being upped and supported by any color. It is a very um, very appropriate appropriate little meme to see here. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.